Hello, everyone. Thank you to another session, another call, another gift call for mostly, mostly Mondays. Yeah, weekly ones, mostly Mondays. So I have this uh, new tendency of kind of, it's like a washout. So, and I'm not going to ask for sorry, because that's how we are. We just committed, completed uh, CF training. It was amazing. It was just amazing. This CF training was one of so far the best. I can't call it the best because bet, be, it, it can be better than the best, but this one was just amazing. So um, that you guys had a topic in mind, but before uh, I was discussing, I'm hoping Bhumit is gonna join in a bit. And we were discussing a, a topic called, uh, how comfortable are you with your farts? Is that uh, farts and burps? Okay, and what structures of morality are you using for not farting and burping? Does anyone here get migraines or headaches or something? Nobody. Oh, how nice. So th that was one thing that we were kind of discussing that, you know, when you are trying to be uh, in a space of being more mannered, where you wouldn't even fart, even though you would like to. Um, because then you have a judgment of it or you were judged when you were a little kid for not farting. And uh, yeah, you just would, don't want to be wrong while farting. And there are a lot of people who just kind of present to you that, hey, you know what? I, I never fart in my life, never farted in my life. All that is bullshit and lies. So everything that is, can you let that go now? And what do you get? What is farting and burping mean to you? Is it okay? Is it not okay? Bad what? manners. Very bad, right? Yeah. Yeah. And when were you taught that this is bad manners? What how what how old were you? Three, four. Yeah, that's what. So three at three at the age of three, when at the age of three, what a kid. That was supposed to be very natural, right? Mm -hmm. So now can you imagine anything that is natural in your life that you're suppressing? What is it wanna create? Aches and pains. Aches, pains, explosions in you. Yeah. And it I'm not just talking here about fart. I'm talking yeah. about in general when you suppress something which is as natural as natural gas that you're creating after eating, especially like kids. Can a kid really um uh, hold on to their farts? And how if the minute you hold on to your farts, also they start creating a, a thing. And how many of you are into overthinking? Because somebody had posted a message in the group that, you know, can we talk about this? What ifs going on? Ashwini, that's Ashwini, right? But see, those people who, who post a, a, a topic, they don't join themselves. Can you imagine? How is that? Yeah, I know. So keep yourself muted. <laughs> but having said that, so uh, when you, are you into overthinking? How many of you are into overthinking? I'm into overthinking. Thank you so much. And then uh, either you would, you know, of course, each, you're not letting, you will end up creating more gases in your body if you're overthinking. And when you're overthinking, you're not allowing to even move out. And that becomes a pain point in the body or anxiety in your chest or what is it that where are you not allowing it to come out of the prop through the proper holes that that you've been given in your body? <laughs> Everything that is going to try and empty it. I don't go back out for client shot boys for as in because you were judged or you were punished for farting when you were a kid. That's not a good thing, right? Farting is really bad. Okay, everything that is. And so you've been farting through your mouth. Uh, I'm not calling it burping, but how much toxicity is getting created that you're not being able to let go and it's either coming out while you're talking or while you're completely shutting it down, whatever that is, and you're not listening to your body. So what is your body truly really asking you for that you're not willing to listen to? And what does listening to your body mean? So somebody asked, can we talk about the what ifs in our head? So what are your what ifs in your head? What if, the, achha, 
are you are you really looking at 10 years down the line are you looking at 100 years down the line then you cannot compute your mind cannot process that kind of information and you cannot calculate and if you cannot calculate what if it doesn't really hold any ground does it what okay um suppose you have to take a, a thousand steps to read somewhere would you really think about the thousand step or would you look at the step right now because you're not being able to see way down long into the future you have to start with your first step and not look too too much down in the future because that will that will only create a lot of anxiety is that really working for you do you create from anxiety do you like creating from anxiety And guess what? When you're more anxious, you you would like your body would like to create more farts, and then you suppress it again. So it's a loop. And you say whatever you have to say. Are you farting with your mouth? Oh. What is what is it? So fart fart and burp is a very natural thing that I wanted to talk about because I think what if your weight and um, what were we talking about? Do you remember? So it was like if you are not uh, farting through your mouth or the other side, it goes straight on asshole. in your head. We call it asshole. See, we can't even yeah. pronounce it that the other side. What do you mean the other side, you know? <laughs> the hole at the bottom. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah. yeah. So it goes right there in your head and that creates disease, migraine and all that. It does. That because is one... you overthink a lot. That's you get one stressed. Of yeah. Yeah. And because and, and it, it's a loop because when you're thinking too much, you're creating gases also. When yeah. you're creating, then you end up thinking too much. So it's just like yeah. a you know trap that you kind of go into. Yeah. So anybody has that? No, I I'm sure nobody in this group has that kind of an issue. They're all good with their farts and their burps. And they don't have a judgment of it. And especially if they go to a party, they will never do it. Have you ever done it in a party where there's loud music? Nobody can hear. And suddenly the music stops and they just heard it. <laughs> okay, everything that is me just ran uncreated. All your judgments, all your structures of morality that keep you stuck in this reality for not ever being who you would like to be, would you destroy and uncreate that? I talk about bad part for client shots, boys for bads and beyonds. So Anshul uh, gave this thing can we talk about getting out of the compulsion of role play? What is role play? Now, the person who's asked, for, asked the question doesn't show up on the call. Isn't that amazing? We're so cute. So any any anything that, that you would like to talk on? Anybody has this role play issue out here? Or then if it doesn't match the group that is currently there, then we can change the topic right away. Anything? Anyone? So how many structures have you created? So that you're not um, the you that you would like to be. Everything that is, will you destroy and uncreate it now? And all your structures that you've installed in place so that you never receive. Can you destroy and uncreate that too? Are you trying to yeah. find shows, boys, for fighting beyonds? Yeah. Nobody has a question that's so cute. I mean, you do a, a Monday call and then nobody's asking nothing. As if everyone, everything and everyone is so sorted, which is great. I mean, I would like you guys to be sorted. I have, I have please, please, please. So I I was the one who said uh, how to receive from cunning people. How to receive from? Cunning people. Cunning people. So where, everywhere you have decided that people are too cunning and too smart for you, that you cannot receive from them, all the structures that you have in place and all the judgments uh, you have in place and everywhere you're being that big fight that you cannot receive from cunning people. Can you destroy and uncreate that? Yes. So they, are they cutting or are they using everything that you have to their advantage? Are they cunning or are they using it and you letting them use? Huh? 
I'm letting them to use. I have thought they are more powerful than me. I thought Hema is talking. Are you talking? Is Sonu talking or Hema yeah. talking? Sonu talking. Sure. Oh, Sonu. Okay, cool. And her mic is on. Somebody. Uh -huh. is on. That's why I, yeah, I was turning yours. I thought uh, that is on. Yeah. So you, it's about you know. There's this call of I think that's Shannon's call, and even Gary did a call on how to be a bitch, and they also did a call on. There's a podcast on, um, how to receive from mean people. Oh, okay. It's a beautiful call. It's about receiving from mean people. First of all, you can receive only when you have no judgment of these people. If you're going to judge them, then you will not be able to receive from them. And Kavita, I have come to that also awareness that, you know, this is what required them to be, you know, this is... For you to step up. So yeah. For you to step up. Yeah. And it's their choice. First, I had a judgment. How can you be so cunning? Now it's not that, but where can I step up? Where can I outcreate them? So what are you refusing to be? If you choose to be that energy, you could receive them and outcreate them. Oh, you so already you have a judgment of them. See, what happens is when I judge something, I'll create a wall against it and I'm not going to receive anything from them. We are going to yeah. cut off our receiving. And unfortunately, or fortunately, whatever that is, we are going to keep inviting those kind of mean people so that they keep giving us the same lesson because if you're putting a wall here, guess what? Okay, that's when I said, can we talk about farts today? Okay, when that's you're suppressing one fart, if you're going to suppress it from not coming in, burp, you can't really stop also, but you know, farts you can. So when it doesn't come out from the bottom hole, it'll travel up and it'll try to come out from somewhere, right? That's exactly what these mean people, judge people, that energy that you're resisting, you're blocking, you're stopping, it'll come through someone else. And you'll be like, oh my God, this person is also mean? What am I doing? <laughs> and one more thing, that if we can re recognize who are the mean people, guess what? We, we do have that in us. We judge others for who we are. So we're not really present with ourselves to see where we are being mean mean people in our own lives. Yeah, yeah. And are you being mean to yourself? Okay, I'm, what I mean is that are you being mean to yourself? <clears throat> and then are you the one who reads too much into people's actions and you find meaning in that? Everything that is going to destroy Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for that. Sometimes I can literally, this is very funny and I know you can take humor, but when I see some people, no, I really, some mean people, I say, you know what, in Hindi serial, we say, ha ha ha, that some foxy people, how they laugh and all that. I can perceive that. But do you have that capacity to know and then how to manipulate or outcreate from these people because you've already identified them? Where have you... Uh, decided or concluded that you are the victim at the hands of mean people or are you trying to save them by being the fifth element okay mm. fifth so, element is saving being a savior unsuccessful savior of humanity right yes. so where are you trying to save them from not experiencing your meanness towards them what judgments do you have about meanness what is the meaning of being so mean? I can't be so mean. Let them choose yeah, But that. what is the meaning of being mean? What do you mean by that? What do you ah, mean by mean? You are hurting someone. You are hurting someone. So are you really hurting someone when you are being mean? When you are being mean? Or are they getting hurt? Can you hurt anyone at all, ever? Can yeah. you hurt? Then yeah. how have you concluded or decided that you are going to hurt them? They are going to get hurt because... They choose to get hurt. Can you hurt them? No. Is that your intention to hurt no. them? No. Then how, how do you say that? Okay, it's going to hurt. The, okay, look at nature once again. When you look at nature, do you really think that Earth, whatever you're doing with Earth, oh, sorry. the huh. planet right now, okay, you're huh. digging, you're creating, you're constructing, you're removing the, the plantations and everything, whatever. Do you really think Earth gives a damn about what the, whatever the fuck you guys are doing? We guys are doing? The day Sorry. it wants to change anything, it'll, it'll do it in a heartbeat, right? Earth does not need anybody's permission. It's an allowance and it'll change it when it'll change it. So where have you decided you're going to get hurt? 
too. Or they are going to get hurt because of you. And so you need to save them from that pain. Yeah. And are you the only one who has to save them of your from, from the pain that you can give them? What about them? <laughs> what, they, I mean, you can receive the pain. So you be are you being a universal surrogate for people who are receiving this pain? So all, all your structures of morality that keep hold it in place, can you destroy and uncreate it now? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, proper, line, short, boys, for fat and beyonds. So how do you receive from mean people? By not judging them, by being in allowance of them, yet, um, you know, uh, letting them know that I'm sorry, this doesn't work. Okay. What I've seen no. of late, okay, I was like that. I, I used to get hurt by the smallest of thing. Like if suppose uh, you tell me that you will come on this call, but you you don't show up, I'll get hurt. I was like that. I'm nowhere claiming that, you know what? I'm so cool. No, 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 no. I wasn't. And I've, I'm really telling you that I've been there on that. And I am so amazed at my own transformation that I'm saying that if I can do it, so can you, right? And uh, Gary made us feel like, you know, Jesus did that. If I can, so you, so can you. But I'm not Jesus. And I, I, I don't think I am Jesus. But I would like to use his term when he says that, so can you. Um, I would get hurt at the drop is, uh, you know, drop of a hat. Same here. Okay, Same so here. no, I mean that's nothing to be proud of. But the <laughs> whole thing. What I learned is how do I infuse um, humor in this? It's about that humor. Yeah. What what is so humorous? What's so funny that I'm not able to laugh at? If you can see that, if you can already see who is a fox and who is a who is a snake or whatever. Can you not use it to your advantage? Or could you not re actually know that? I, do I need to really cross this path? Because I know there are too many snakes over there. Who can I be? What am I refusing here to acknowledge? Do you not have a capacity to identify those mean people? Or do you want to teach those mean people a lesson? Uh, that's a good, uh, good uh, thing. Yeah, because I'll change them. I'll, I'll show them, you know. How dare they? And uh, not less and only thing I have a judgment of how can you be so mean There's then no you way. will invite it in your life you know like ah, can you, yeah, mean, okay, you will end up being that hmm. because what we judge others for we become also right yes yes so everything that is so possibility of not judging them so that I will not invite them as simple as that. But that's exactly what am I refusing to receive? Because from these people, you don't have to hang out with them. I'm not saying that. If they, if that's not light, don't don't be in it. But having said that, oh, now they did this, I'm going to cut off. No, but that doesn't work, right? I can that doesn't work. What is it that I can receive from them that I'm refusing to receive? Yeah. That's about your receiving, you know, because again, there's a structure in place there. Yeah. Do you know what a structure is when when actually you're like I don't like this guy I don't I don't want this and then you start putting all those brick walls, but behind that brick wall, who's the one who's uh, left out? You. Your voice is gone. What? I'm the one who's you're left the out. one. You're the one, and then you're like I feel so lonely. There's nobody in my life. <laughs> and the whole thing being that if you did not have to, what part of them would you not like to receive? And you can see that to begin with. Yes. So, okay, tell me, if Gary would have had a judgment of people uh, who are coming to his classes, would his classes ever grow? Like to a degree where everyone's inclusive and they're not, you're not trying to be friends with anybody. <laughs> but Gary ke bit divorced hui the na, usko I think, uh... वो ऐसा लगा कि आ, आ, ये मेरे लिए सही नहीं है तो नहीं सही नहीं है नहीं so what happened is okay मतलब, the first, uh, the yeah, words not, doesn't matter नहीं first one did not work second time he asked for exactly what he wanted and he got exactly what it, he, he asked for अच्छा. and then and then the humorous part that the universe is what he did not ask is also what he got <laughs> so that's when he realized okay this is not working for me and what yeah, maybe uh, that is just awareness no he got that so he's not saying that okay don't do it he's saying do it and you'll get the awareness but don't make yourself wrong do you get it the difference is mm. you, can't, 
do not make yourself wrong for the choices you've made in life we mm. often end up making ourselves wrong why did i do it how i could see it coming i did we do that i've done that i made myself mm. wrong for the longest time for my first marriage that fe- that fell apart and i'm like how could i not see it coming right i knew certain things and i still got married how silly as if you know you're so blinded that it's all going to be fine and that's the utopian ideal everything mm. will be fine everything will be okay but that doesn't show up and now we are frustrated we depress ourselves to another in its degree and then we like we there's nothing to look forward to yeah because um social life professional life is different and personal life is different so um uh, it's not about judgment or uh, showing anything or it's just yeah yeah i mean i get what you're saying so you you know that this is different and you see the point is we don't trust ourselves we don't trust our knowing we know certain things we know is this going to create my life is it going to decay my life is this creating something is it decaying my life okay can i choose something else what would i like to choose what would i like my life to look like 99% of the people on the planet do not know what do they like Yeah, because what they like, like yeah, and uh, जो इन्होंने जो क्वेश्चन किया ना वो कनिंग वाला आई थिंक वी आर नॉट एबल टू और वी वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू आउट मैनिपुलेट दैम इन द वे दे आर मैनिपुलेटिंग अस दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम आई थिंक नो दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम नो वी हैव अ पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू अबाउट मैन्यूपुलेशन we like mm-hmm. i can't do that they're so bad and mean i'm not going to do this mm-hmm. so when when you going to judge manipulation you will get manipulated mm-hmm. okay and we let them manipulate till we like till the end of life or or, or till whatever time yes vandana mm-hmm. thank you desha well, yeah. yes sorry i joined a bit late but uh, how just Nini, why would you be sorry no from call work call came in so uh just sorry for just that. by asking how can i out manipulate them like there is a person who owes me money you know about that i've talked about it and he's been manipulating me and saying tomorrow 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 and i have been asking how can i out manipulate this person but i'm not getting any answers i i don't know how it's not about it. an answer okay so you just need to see what am i not being here see point is a lot of people like for example if i i'm talking about uh through my experience when i used to give installments to people and they would not show up i have now come to a point that this is my money and i can i can embarrass them into paying me i can okay. you know put them i they should be ashamed why should i be ashamed of asking right at the same time if they are not i'm i swear i know the couple is not on this call i put it on my status that this uh, online portal <laughs> did not give me my uh okay. the, the product that i had ordered for correct i am humiliated them publicly i would not have done that this is the sweet kavita oh i am so nice i am not going to do that i did that on a social media platform swear to god four days and they sent my product okay so if that is for us very tiny little puny little amount that i'm talking about but i'm just simply saying if that is possible how the fuck are they not going to pay your money it's your money so where are you not claiming it where are you still trying to be nice by doing the structures of morality right but how can i ask like this you know you feel so sh- sh- ashamed of asking yeah because they will start whinging and crying and saying they don't and have then, can you be in allowance of they whinging and crying see my point is you take that loan i need that money do whatever the you sell your kidney i don't care but you need to give my money if you ha- would have taken uh, through a bank or you would have taken it through a credit card they will keep harassing you till you pay their stuff right oh, it's your money unless you're ready to let it go you're like okay i gave it fine um i learned something out of this and that's okay i don't need to go in that direction anymore but i know i've learned my lesson oh. there sometimes when you spend that money you are also gaining a lot of awareness oh. so and what and can you still not make yourself wrong is my question you have decided that you have to make yourself wrong can you for fuck that what if you you're never wrong for whatever choices you've made that have gotten you to where you are today right 
what did I choose that got me here? Okay, what 10 seconds of unconscious choice did I make that got me here? And, I, and what can I do to change it? Very simple question, but very potent question. You can ask your body, if you are communing, you know, it's like a communion with your body, your body is giving you the awareness of any kind of danger and ask your body to inform you so that you don't have to face it. Right. Right? Right. Understood. So, yeah. Yeah. So that's what we said. Uh, we were talking about how we are suppressing the very natural thing that we are born with. That was a, that, uh, I started with that. That even the farts we would like to control, you know, like we don't want to fart somewhere or we just, and then the fart doesn't come out when you require it to come out because it's going round and round in your stomach. And so it doesn't make it make it light for you. And kids and old people don't have a point of view about it. But then who said, uh, someone just said that uh, when they were three years old, they were they were asked not to fart or they were punished for farting or whatever. Welcome to the insanity on this planet. Well, I know that we were brought up that to Manners? that burping is very mannerless. No, even farting is. Yeah, so my parents brought us up like that. Yeah, like how it. British is that? And, and now, everywhere you're still carrying the white man's burden. Can you fucking pardon and return it to sender now? Yes. Are you talking about bad population? So, I mean, I was just talking to Bhumit before we started the call. I said, it's more than three years, but now I've gotten less, slightly comfortable farting in front of my own husband. And he has no point of view about it. He can fart with great ease and burp also. Wow, that's amazing. So can you imagine how long I have taken? Because a lot of lifetimes that I get that I was Victorian. There was Victorian era. Right. You really have to be perfect, right? So how much is perfection a, a trap that you've been you've caught yourself up in? What if there is nothing called perfect? And perfection is a lie because you constantly have to keep judging yourself and that keeps you in a state of judging yourself continuously. And that structures of morality that doesn't allow you to go beyond that. Everything that is can you put in book. Hi, Anshal. You were the one who asked for the role play and how we forget to be, be you, right? Hi, uh, yes. Yes, that was me. Sorry, so, yeah. I joined in late. I know, no, that's okay. We kind of, I, I, I tried covering it up, but it's just that how significant have you made the role play? Because it's just a role play. Mm -hmm. And everywhere you're not playing, the, you know, uh, into possibilities of being you, what will it take for you to choose to be that? And what if that is also you while you're playing the role? So when and where have you decided that you have to give, give up with you? When and where have you decided that you have to give up on you in order to play the role? Right. So what do you what do you love about being pretentious with people? Um, I always feel there's nobody else to fill up the role. Like I'm specifically talking about motherhood right now. I know, right? I know, I know. And then everything that is, you know, I went to Dubai this time and I was at this Palm Jumeirah. And then, you know, we met this guy who has seven children, uh, two, ad three adopted and four his own blood. And he and his wife are staying in Sharjah, working in Dubai. And who takes care of the kids? Nanny. How young is the youngest kid? Six. Hmm. That's okay. They, were, they have a lot of money. So they go meet twice a year. Hmm. And you say you're the only one who has to fill up that role. Interesting, isn't it? It's a choice you have mm -hmm. to make. Okay, what else can I choose here? Who, who can I appoint? And you're there around still energetically also. Right. If I would have done that. I wouldn't have been able to go and uh, attend my CF training in Australia, leaving my uh, my my kid who was in sixth standard. I got mm -hmm. a lot of vilification and I got a lot of judgment from my own family. Mm -hmm. And I'm the most pathetic mother on planet Earth. Yes, I am. 
And guess what? My son has chosen me. Thank you so much for giving me that information that I'm the worst one. Great. Thank so, you. Yeah, so it's about knowing that, okay, this is my role, but what role do I have to play in my own life first? Because if you can't play that for you, you can't play that with anybody else. Your first commitment is with yourself. Unfortunately, when we are born on the planet, our commitment is to everybody but ourselves. And that creates a distance between you and your body, you and your being, and everything. And then guess what? In that distance, we're adding a lot of junk and gunk and more unconsciousness. So everything that is, can we just turn on creative, please? <clears throat> right, wrong, good, bad, perfect, line shots, boys, for guys, and beyonds. So yeah. Kabi, can I uh, add and when you say that you know you have to you are not even committed to your own self. Yeah. You're not committed to your body also. No, we are not. You suppress karte, farts ko suppress karte, what are you doing? Yeah. You're abusing your body. Totally, totally. Yeah. You're using no, we are abusing our body, yeah. Abusing, that's what I'm saying. We are abusing our body. To yeah. natural cheese hair, and we are ashamed of doing it. Yes. And who's given that shame? So and much. at what age did we buy that shame? Because we made it our own shame. Yeah. So, true, very true. So, now, this is that one step that we're talking about. Suppose you see, oh, being one with myself, I don't know how long it's going to take. Taking that one step towards yourself. What would that be like? And do not look too far down the lane. You don't have to. You will cover that journey when you will. You will. When, I'm, when I say like 10 years ago, what I was to what I'm doing today, I'm like, wow. I hear the same thing over and over again and it doesn't register. Mm -hmm. And then one fine day, I'm like, whoa. Yeah, I know, but Gary's been seen saying that since long. But now I kind of, I get it now. What if you didn't have to judge yourself that oh, I'm so silly, I didn't get it earlier. How stupid of me. No, I didn't. And I, I was so, so good at judging myself. Because when you have uh, two brothers who are surgeons and who are doctors, you are going to judge yourself to be stupid because you take up science thinking that they took science. But they just got away with it because they, my father got them the admissions. And yes. I didn't even want to become a doctor. So then you want to judge yourself that, oh my God, I'm so dumb. I couldn't even do this. And each time you're growing up, you're only being compared to others. So you have, you will keep judging yourself. And then you encounter access, which gives you that one, you know, wave of hope or that, you know, oh, okay, fine. Accessing myself, what would that look like? I don't even know who I am today. And that changes the entire story. Yes, Vandana. So, you know, when you talk about judging yourself and having smarter siblings, my brother and sister were always on top of the class and I was always on the bottom. And your parents created you or you created your parents first? Quick, quick question. They created me. No, no, you created your parents. They And they had to see that spectrum. Okay? That spectrum of one is a topper and one can be not a topper as well. So what you know, my mom used to publicly tell ah, the other two are very smart, but this one she's <laughs> and I have spent my whole life being a successful, powerful, dynamic woman, making a career and being better than my brother and sister, career wise. Wow. Okay. So what what is yeah, your question? I, no, so I'm just agreeing to what you're saying that it yeah. just shapes us all the judgments that we get as children. Yeah. We take them on ourselves. And how do we get better than that? I love being what I am. Today. Yes. Yeah. So that's what. So that's exactly what I'm saying. So we invited all of that and to, to uh, you know, give you, can you come into allowance of yourself that you chose your parents? Right. You created them. What is it that I have to receive from these people that I'm refusing to receive? If you get that, you there will be a sense of peace in your world, a sense of calmness in your world. That okay, so I got these this set of people in my life that I created, and and I got into this family, 
what is it that I have, I, I created them for? When you are in a question, you will be much more at ease and not yeah. judge your creation. For the longest time, I kept saying, why these parents, you know, I could have created something better. And I, I was judging my creation. Then the minute I stopped it, my creations got better. Right. The moment you realize, I mean, I love all the judgments of me as a child because today I am who I am because of that. And I'm very yeah. proud of myself. Oh, no, you're not because of your judgments. You are because you got into allowance of your judgments, Vida. Yeah. Or you use them to your advantage and you like, you know, start playing along with them. Right. Yes, Gaurav. Gaurav, you're asking, right? Yeah. Yep. Yes, yes. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi. So, uh, I would like to, I mean, say first, I mean, what is going on with me right now? Okay. So, like, uh, uh, my family is basically a little uh, bit, I mean, controlling and also uh, what... Uh, so, all the proper shit you give yourself, uh, Gaurav, that they are controlling you. Gary just says that we, as kids create those parents so that we can control our parents and everywhere you have bought the lie that they are the ones who are actually controlling you and uh, you're not because if you're being a victim guess what who has the control you so everything that is going to destroy and uncreated please mm, yes wrong, good, bad, proper, line, shows, boys, boys, boys. everywhere you have bought the lie that you are being controlled while well, actually you're the one who's controlling but you don't even know that can you pocket pot it now? Yeah. That. And what if you didn't have to be this weak and victimhood and all of that? Because we all have a choice, but we're not choosing. So we would love to make others wrong for what they're doing to us. But the fact is nobody can do nothing to us if you're not in allowance of that. And could you get into allowance of your own creation because these parents are your creation? Can you not judge them? Uh, it's a little uh, difficult. I mean, uh, however, so I mean, what, is, what, what I, can I you do to make it easy if it is difficult? Yeah, I guess I have to just be an interesting point of view. A and lot keep more doing it and keep making your choices and keep creating and keep playing your game the way you would like to keep because this is your life. How long would you want to be in this state that you're in currently? No, no, I don't want to. I mean, uh, you don't wish to. I know that, but what will it take for you to change it with total ease? All of life comes to me with ease, joy, glory. Ten times morning, ten times evening. Uh, yeah, I actually uh, uh, say it, but like, uh, I mean, I said uh, my family is very, very much, I mean, uh, yeah. like, I'm either not say, speaking right now just because uh, my mom just came to see who I'm talking to and stuff like that, so they don't even allow me to speak. Can and then they blame me. Okay, you're also giving them that energy that, okay, it's okay, I will not speak. Can anyone control us? Unless we, they, uh, you know, we are willing to be controlled. You're not a, a, a six-year-old. I get that. When you were a kid, they controlled you. But you only gave them the um, impression that they are controlling you. We are uncontrollable. Mm. Right, Disha, you want to contribute to this? What he's saying? Yeah. Uh, so, मुझे मुझे भी ये question है because this is uh, these things are repeated uh, repeatedly मतलब ये मेरी life में भी हो रहा है कि जो parents के साथ जैसा कहीं ना कहीं जैसा था the way they were manipulating me and that that the that kind of relationship जिसमें uh, how can I get out of this thing? A, first of all, वो जो चीजें हैं वो repeat ना हो. Yeah, so so वो repeat ना हो के लिए first you have to come into allowance of who they are and how they are. And now what am I? Okay, the minute you resist something, 
वो वापस आ जाएगा एंड यूल क्रिएट इट ओके वॉट यू डिन नॉट हैव टू रिजिस्ट और रिएक्ट टू एनी थिंग और अलाइन और अग्री टू एनी थिंग इट इज बेसिकली फॉलोइंग दैट इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू पाथ एंड नाउ रिसीविंग एवरी थिंग एंड हाउ कैन आई यूज दिस टू माई एडवांटेज एक एक वेरी स्मॉल एग्जाम्पल इफ समबडी से यू मस्ट हैव मैरिड दिस पर्सन फॉर मनी ओके और समबडी कॉल्स यू अ गोल्ड डिगर एंड कैन यू यूज दैट टू योर एडवांटेज इन से now that i am a gold digger let me dig it all and not make it make it wrong or right and use those judgments to your advantage yeah you don't but have to make them wrong you don't okay. have to make you wrong and then I but you, yeah yeah but what if uh, uh, okay parents ka to aisa hai ki unki alag life hai abhi meri alag life hai but what if i really want a um relationship in my life a connection uh, um i think um, yeah good friend matlab mujhe wo cheeze repeat nahi karni hai jo so, unke sath so now we start pulling uh, from the through the entire universe and start asking or demanding that what will it take for me to have a creation ship of possibilities with a person yeah. who I, i would love to uh, or you know would like to enjoy my life with creation ship is where you are creating a conscious relationship relationship is a distance between two objects <clears throat> so creation ship is okay we come together and your life is only growing and expanding so what will it take universe now that i've already seen the people i do not wish to have in my life thank you so much now what else is possible now who else can really contribute to my life and i can contribute to their life what will it take and where can i find such a person and just be that space be in allowance of that space allow yourself and meanwhile just heal yourself out of uh, whatever you've been through because if you're going to resist people guess what they're going to get recreated similar energy will come in a different bottle uh i also have a question i uh, my husband hides uh, he's not at all transparent with me in anything he hides a lot from me and i feel very uncomfortable and uh, the most troublesome part is are you aware of his un- discomfort whoever zoom user are you aware of his discomfort that makes you uncomfortable no i feel he is very comfortable making me uh, uncomfortable I, exactly but are you aware of the discomfort that he would be going through he's pretending is he pretending and then you still perceiving that he's uncomfortable and that makes you uncomfortable is that yours is that discomfort yours who does it belong yes. when this you say, discomfort yes. is mine and when you say a very strong yes that is where i would like to bring your awareness to that when we say yes it is mine it's not yours i'm so sorry to disappoint you with that it's not yours okay. your it is who does it belong to and you will then realize that it's not yours and where have you decided that it has to be all transparent only just because you are transparent where yes. have you decided that you cannot be that energy that you have to only yes. truth and only truth and so that god save you for that everything but, that uh, is and can we do uh, this call? can we do further facilitation in the next call because i have an sop to be done so i need to leave and i like your question hold on to it next monday or then we can book a private session for this because if you're really looking out for something that can change your life i would suggest book a private personal session whoever with whoever you would like to it'll be it'll contribute to you and to everyone once you shift people can shift so I, or, or else wait till next monday we'll come up with a relationship call then we'll talk only about relationships See you for now. I have a I have a session to do. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you, Kavita. Bye. Bye. Bye.